How are you guys? Welcome back to Aaron Polo TV. Today we're diving into the bizarre world of X-rays to uncover some of the 12 strangest things discovered by X-rays. We're talking about objects you wouldn't believe could fit, let alone be swallowed. Get ready to be shocked because some of these stories are straight up unbelievable. You won't believe what we found. Are you new in this video? Click subscribe and hit notification bell, so let's get started. All right, guys, buckle up because this first one is wild. A woman in Ireland went to the hospital complaining of stomach pains. She thought it might be a stomach bug, something simple. But get this, when doctors took an x-ray, they found over 55 batteries in her stomach and intestines. 55! Can you imagine the look on the doctor's face? I mean, how do you even swallow that many batteries? Apparently, she had been swallowing them over a period of time. Don't ask me why, I have no idea. The doctors said it was one of the most bizarre cases they had ever seen. Luckily, they were able to remove all the batteries without any serious complications. Can you imagine the relief she must have felt? Talk about dodging a bullet, uh, or should I say, dodging 55 batteries. This next story is about an 8-year-old girl who swallowed 30 magnets and steel balls. Yes, you heard that right, 30. It sounds like something out of a bizarre cartoon, but this was a very real and very serious situation. I know what you're thinking, kids put everything in their mouths. It's almost like a rite of passage for children to explore the world with their taste buds. From crayons to coins, if it fits, it goes in. But this case was far from ordinary. But this is next level. We're not talking about a couple of marbles or a small toy piece. We're talking about 30 powerful magnets and steel balls. Imagine the shock and horror of the parents when they found out. These weren't just any magnets and balls. They were part of a toy set, and they were pretty strong. These toys are designed to stick together to build structures. But inside a human body, they can cause serious damage. So this little girl, she swallows these magnets and balls, and at first she doesn't say anything to her parents. Maybe she was scared, or maybe she didn't realize the gravity of what she had done. Kids can be surprisingly good at keeping secrets, especially when they think they might get in trouble. But then she starts having severe stomach pains. At first her parents might have thought it was just a stomach ache or something she ate. But as the pain grew worse, it became clear that something was seriously wrong. Her parents rush her to the hospital, and the doctors are baffled. They run through the usual questions and tests, trying to figure out what could be causing such intense pain in such a young child. They take an x-ray, and BAM! There it is. A cluster of magnets and balls in her stomach. The x-ray must have looked like something out of a science fiction movie, with these foreign objects clearly visible inside her tiny body. It was a race against time to get them out. The medical team had to act quickly to prevent any further damage. The situation was critical, and every second counted. The doctors ended up having to perform emergency surgery, and thankfully, they were able to remove all the magnets and balls. The surgery was delicate and required a high level of precision to ensure that no further damage was done during the removal process. Get ready for this one, guys, because this is intense. This story is not for the faint-hearted. It's about bravery, medical marvels, and sheer luck. We're talking about a Ukrainian soldier who had an unexploded grenade lodged in his chest. Yes, you heard that right. An actual grenade, the kind that could explode at any moment, was inside his body. You heard that right. An unexploded grenade. This isn't something you see every day, and it's definitely not something you want to experience. This soldier was literally walking around with a ticking time bomb inside of him. Imagine the sheer terror and the constant awareness of the danger he was in. Apparently, he had been injured in battle, and during the chaos, a grenade had become embedded in his chest. The battlefield is already a place of unimaginable stress and danger, but this takes it to a whole new level. Miraculously, it didn't detonate on impact. The fact that it didn't explode right then and there is nothing short of a miracle. The odds were definitely in his favor that day. The soldier was airlifted to a hospital and the doctors were stunned when they saw the x-ray. Can you imagine the shock and disbelief on their faces? They were expecting a routine injury, but what they found was far from ordinary. Now imagine being the doctor who has to remove a live grenade from someone's chest. Talk about pressure. The stakes couldn't be higher, and the margin for error was non-existent. They had to call in a bomb disposal expert to assist with the surgery. This wasn't just any surgery, it was a high-stakes operation that required the expertise of someone who deals with explosives for a living. 
It was a delicate and dangerous operation, but they managed to remove the grenade successfully. The teamwork and precision required for this procedure were extraordinary. Every move had to be calculated, every decision meticulously planned. This soldier is incredibly lucky to be alive. The fact that he survived both the initial injury and the subsequent surgery is nothing short of miraculous. It's a testament to his resilience and the skill of the medical team. He's basically a walking miracle. His story is a powerful reminder of the unpredictability of life and the incredible feats that humans are capable of when faced with seemingly insurmountable odds. This soldier's journey from the battlefield to recovery is truly awe-inspiring. And let's not forget the emotional toll this must have taken on his family and friends. The relief and joy they must have felt when he finally came home, safe and sound, is beyond words. This brave soldier's ordeal didn't go unnoticed. He was honored for his bravery and resilience, receiving a medal in a heartfelt military ceremony. His story will be remembered as a testament to courage and the human spirit. This next story is about a burglary suspect who swallow his way out of trouble. I'm not kidding. This guy named Joseph Bravo Ramos, 21-year-old, robbed a jewelry store and thought he could get away with it by swallowing the necklaces. The police caught up with him pretty quickly, and they could tell he was hiding something. Sheriff's Office's Secker Pass X-Ray, designed to detect contraband on detainees, a scan revealed a large dark mass near his stomach, deputies said. Detectives identified the mass as two gold chain necklaces that had been reported stolen. I guess he didn't think this one through. I mean, talk about a bad idea. Not only did he get caught for the robbery, but he also had to go through the embarrassment of having his stomach pumped. Karma, right? Okay, this next one is just plain strange. A woman named Jenna Evans accidentally swallowed her engagement ring in her sleep. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. She had a dream that she was on a speeding train and she had to swallow her ring to protect it from bad guys. Yeah, you read that right. She woke up the next morning and her ring was gone. She knew something was up, so she went to the hospital and they took an x-ray. And guess what? The ring was in her stomach. The doctors were able to remove it safely and Jenna got her ring back, but seriously, who swallows their engagement ring in their sleep? That's a story she'll be telling for the rest of her life. This is the story of a Chinese man who got a bottle stuck in his rectum. Yes, you heard that right, a bottle. It's not every day you hear about such a bizarre medical emergency, and if that wasn't bad enough, he tried to fish it out himself using a curved piece of wire. Imagine the desperation and the sheer panic that must have driven him to such an extreme measure. I know, I know, it's hard to believe. But sometimes, truth is stranger than fiction. People do the most unimaginable things when they are in a tight spot, literally and figuratively. But apparently, this kind of thing happens more often than you think. Medical professionals often encounter cases that defy logic and reason, and this was one of those times. The man was too embarrassed to go to the hospital at first, which is understandable. The fear of judgment and the stigma attached to such incidents can be overwhelming. But after several hours of struggling, he realized he needed help. The pain and the potential for serious injury outweighed his embarrassment. The x-ray showed the bottle lodged pretty far up there, in a position that made it nearly impossible for him to remove it on his own. And to make matters worse, the wire he had used to try and retrieve it had also gotten stuck. This added another layer of complexity to an already delicate situation. It was a complicated procedure requiring the expertise and precision of skilled surgeons. The medical team had to carefully plan their approach to avoid causing further damage, but the doctors were able to remove both the bottle and the wire. It was a successful operation and the man was incredibly relieved. He was lucky to have access to such proficient medical care. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the lengths people will go to avoid embarrassment, even at the risk of their own health. It's a cautionary tale that highlights the importance of overcoming fear and seeking help when needed. So, the next time you find yourself in a difficult situation, remember that seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness, and always, always think twice before attempting any DIY medical procedures. Next case takes us to China, where a man walked into the hospital complaining of difficulty swallowing. Now this wasn't just a little tickle in the throat. This guy had been struggling to swallow for an entire year. 
Can you imagine the frustration, the discomfort of not being able to eat properly for a whole year, every meal, every sip of water, a constant reminder of his condition? Naturally, the doctors ordered an x-ray, expecting to find maybe a blockage, a tumor, something explainable. They were prepared for the usual suspects, but what they saw on that x-ray image left them utterly baffled. It was something they had never encountered before. There, lodged in his esophagus, was a steel spoon, a full-sized metal soup spoon, not a small teaspoon, mind you. The spoon had been there for a year, just chilling in his throat, and the craziest part? It wasn't causing him that much pain. The man had somehow adapted to this foreign object in his body. This guy had been living his life, relatively unbothered, with a spoon stuck in his throat. He went about his daily activities, working, socializing, and even sleeping with a spoon lodged in his esophagus. The doctors were amazed by his tolerance, his ability to adapt to such a bizarre situation. They couldn't believe how he managed to function normally. The medical team had to carefully plan the extraction of the spoon. It wasn't just a simple procedure. They had to consider the risks involved. The surgery required precision and expertise. The doctors had to ensure that the spoon was removed without causing any further damage to the esophagus. After a meticulous and delicate operation, the spoon was finally removed. The man could now swallow without any obstruction. The patient recovered well and was able to return to his normal life, free from the bizarre burden he had carried for a year. This next story is not for the faint of heart. It's a tale that will make you wince and wonder about the bizarre situations people can find themselves in. Imagine the most uncomfortable situation you've ever been in, and then multiply that by 10. The agony was written all over the patient's face. That's what this poor patient was going through. Every movement, every breath seemed to amplify the excruciating pain. Doctors were understandably concerned and ordered an immediate x-ray to figure out what was going on. They needed to get to the bottom of this mystery and fast. There in the patient's rectum was a light bulb. Yes, you heard that right. A full-sized glass light bulb. Yes, you heard me right. A full-sized glass light bulb. The kind you screw into a lamp to light up a room. How it got there, nobody knows, but the image was clear as day. It was unmistakable and left everyone in the room speechless. The doctors were shocked, appalled, and slightly amused all at the same time. It was a mix of emotions that rarely happens in a medical setting. The surgery to remove the light bulb was undoubtedly delicate and complex. The surgical team had to be extremely careful to avoid breaking the glass and causing further injury. But thankfully, the patient made a full recovery. It was a relief for everyone involved and a reminder of the strange and unpredictable nature of medical emergencies. Our next case takes us to India where a 42-year-old man arrived at the hospital, complaining of severe abdominal pain. The pain was so intense that he could barely stand, and his family rushed him to the emergency room. Doctors immediately ordered a battery of tests, including an X-ray, to determine the cause of his agony. What they discovered on the X-ray sent chills down their spines. The man's stomach was riddled with foreign objects, and not just any objects, knives. Dozens of them, all different shapes and sizes, were clearly visible on the X-ray. The medical team was stunned. They'd never seen anything like it. The man was immediately prepped for emergency surgery, and with the surgeons found inside his stomach shocked even the most seasoned medical professionals. This next story is about Margaret Dahlman, a 52-year-old woman who checked herself into a hospital in Rotterdam, Netherlands, complaining of stomach cramps. She'd been experiencing these cramps for a while, but they'd become increasingly unbearable. Doctors, suspecting a digestive issue, ordered an x-ray to get a clearer picture of what was happening inside her abdomen. What they saw on the x-ray wasn't a tumor, a blockage, or any typical digestive problem. Margaret's stomach was a veritable silverware drawer. The x-ray revealed a shocking collection of 78 pieces of cutlery lodged inside her stomach. Forks, spoons, knives, you name it, she'd swallowed it. The sheer volume of cutlery was astounding, and the doctors were baffled as to how she'd managed to ingest so many utensils without realizing the potential consequences. Our next case involves a construction worker named Dante Autulo, who had a bit of an accident with a nail gun. Dante was a seasoned worker, familiar with the tools of his trade, but even the most experienced can have a bad day. Imagine the force of a nail gun, the speed at which it fires those nails. 
These tools are designed to drive nails into the hardest of materials with incredible precision and power. Now picture that nail gun misfiring and the nail heading straight towards Dante's head. It sounds terrifying, right? The sheer velocity and impact could cause unimaginable damage. Well, that's exactly what happened. The nail gun fired unexpectedly and the nail struck Dante's head with a force that could have been fatal. The nail gun fired, the nail struck Dante's head and he fell to the ground. The impact was so sudden and shocking that it left everyone around him in a state of panic. Miraculously, Dante got up almost immediately. Despite the severity of the situation, he managed to stand up, much to the astonishment of his co-workers. He felt a bit of a sting, a graze where the nail had hit him, but he was convinced it hadn't actually penetrated his skull. He touched the spot, expecting to find a minor wound. He shrugged it off as a close call, a lucky escape. Dante believed he had dodged a bullet, or in this case, a nail. When the X-ray image came back, even the doctors were stunned. The nail had indeed penetrated his skull, lodging itself dangerously close to his brain. It was a miracle that Dante was still conscious and coherent. The surgery was a success and the nail was safely removed. Dante's recovery was nothing short of miraculous, and he was soon back on his feet, grateful for the second chance at life. Dante's story is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the importance of taking every injury seriously, no matter how minor it may seem at first. Our final story takes us to the digital age, where a 33-year-old man found himself in a rather sticky situation, literally. Picture this, you're on the phone, pacing back and forth, when suddenly you trip and accidentally swallow your phone. Sounds impossible, right? Well, that's exactly what happened to this unfortunate fellow. He was rushed to the hospital, phone still lodged in his throat, unable to speak, his eyes wide with panic. Doctors immediately ordered an x-ray, and the image confirmed their suspicions. A Nokia phone, batteries and all, was stuck in his esophagus. The outline of the phone was crystal clear on the x-ray, a stark reminder of the dangers of multitasking while walking and talking on the phone. The medical team sprang into action, knowing that time was of the essence. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating content. And remember, always be careful with what you put inside your body. From spoons to light bulbs to an entire cutlery set, these X-ray discoveries prove that the human body is capable of withstanding some pretty bizarre things. But while these stories are fascinating, they're also a stark reminder to prioritize our health and be mindful of what we put into our bodies. Stay curious, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.